Oh hi, it's Bukai. So we are back with our solo Let's Play challenge on Eidolon, where we limit ourselves to one character. And as you can see, a lot has changed. Um, I apologize for there not being any real video footage for the past week on this. And that's simply due to the fact of my mic's cable or something was just dying. And every time I would try and edit a video, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but you were hearing a bunch of pops and like random static popping in. That was literally just the cable losing connection on the actual mic. And so all the footage I've gotten in the past couple days is just digital garbage on top of me actually talking. So I'm going to show you guys what's happened and what I've done on the account in the meantime. Um, so one of the first things that we will see if we go down to the skills tab is we've hit level 29 on mining and gotten our gold pickaxe. So the gold pickaxe is a huge boost on there as it, <laughs> it allowed us while we were still on a mining build to gain a ton of gold ore, copper ore, keep it maintained of 10,000 on our copper and basically just a nice decent position. We also went out and got the peanut recipe by doing part of the journeyman quest. So the journeyman quest was a really use. I might as well actually go and here for now, actually. Yeah, the journeyman quest was actually really useful considering I had to start it and spending thousands of peanuts for these, the golden peanuts. And I need more peanuts. And yeah, I currently have are sitting at five and I need a lot as like it ends up being like almost like a thousand of your actual mining efficiency. And speaking of mining efficiency, I think it's time to actually gamble and get some new bubbles. And oh, nice. I was not expecting first try on that. What did we get? Mining and fishing XP. So let's pump this up to level five for now. And you know what? Let's gung ho and failed four. That's fine. It's one in five. So we are going to keep upgrading on here, and I believe we're not going to get the... Uh, this is per power 10. No, I want to keep my jungle logs. We're going to actually just keep pumping this guy up. And there. I think I needed the crab cakes for something, but this is still a decent idea to do. Now, other than that, we got all the way up into our Sanic tools for the good old, and I might as well pump that by one, for the catching on there, as we were basically just gun hauling all the way up this line in order to get our, yeah, in order to get our good old fashioned a uh, Shakiracy, which I believe is the next two or it's the third upgrade after that and the catch is really low right now so the main thing that i'm trying to do is get my i gotta get more gold and bump up my alchemy speed and yeah that's a lot of the big upgrades on there so we will go back into our fishing in the meantime so let's turn that on and I'll show you my quick little fishing build. It's not the best build in the world. As I'm still trying to figure out the best fishing build. But I'm pretty sure that this is a really good one for it so far. So I don't know if you guys want to copy it on there. But I first went 100 points straight into the worming undercover. And then I went and put 50 points into the catching some Zs. But I made sure that I needed to have at least one into the strongest statues. Now, I only have like three fishing statues, so this isn't going to be giving me that much, but one point can still give me 1.96 higher, and so as a result, I might as well keep it. Now, going down into here, uh, into this tab, I put 100 points into Firmly Grasp It, as that's, I just need a ton of strength to get the fishing efficiency, and so as a result, the next 100 points went into Absolute Units, and then the dump stat I put into Temptress Emotions. Now, later on, once you get the fishing buffs and that, which scale based off of your health, you actually want to put your health overdrive as your dump stat until you get around 1,000 hit points. You can also get the 1,000 hit points by using some of the strength tools. If I go over here to the storage or potions, I don't have very many of them, but you can equip one of each uh, tier on there where you 
can then gain something like 400, 500 hit points. Like, it's a decent chunk and a good way to hit that next break point without actually investing the points there. Now, with that, you go over into this tab, and it's fairly simple. I've got 100 points into the idle skilling. I first started with brute efficiency, get that to 100 as you always, and then I went into 50 into the good old-fashioned idle skilling, and then I went 100 up into the fist of rage, and then the rest went into idle skilling. Now, it's hard because considering you might want to invest some points into the strength some more in order to keep pumping this thing up, but in the meantime, I don't have the skill points to spend on that. So I just pumped straight up into health. Now, other than that, we finally got a a talent, a, a star talent on there. We got the attacks on Simmer. And so, of course, I just boosted that up to 50 because I have nothing else to spend. And this is a noob trap. It's completely useless for me. Uh, the next goals with the accounts for the foreseeable future is to gather up our fishing. Because considering we need a ton of these hermit crab cans and if i go down to codex uh anvil oh, i might as well hit the produce let me shoot oh it's on tab two let me shoot down down there they are i need to make five of these guys and so that is around 1250 of these guys uh 2000 of a um whatchamacallit the megalodon tooths and <laughs> 20 distilled waters and how much distilled water do i actually have let me see codex storage 35 so that's gonna eat a decent chunk um i'm gonna have to keep buying these things daily because we need we're gonna be starting to burn through these things just burn straight through them so I guess the next goal is to, oh, yeah, just get the, get a couple thousand of the fishing guys up there. Uh, I assume I'm going to, if I go down to my inventory skills usage, I might as well go up to 18 in fishing on there. Uh, whichever comes last, I'll get 18 fishing or I will get the complete, uh, whatchamacallit, I will get the complete uh, hermit crabs, that's it. And then I will transition back into a warrior build or a barbarian build and go out to hunt down more of those mimics in order to unlock the post office. Now, I would have usually done the post office sooner. However, the reason why I didn't is because considering I was waiting for that big update on there where he fixed post office to not take tens of thousands of resources um yeah now it can require like two or three because it scales off of your scaling rather than the total number it just literally became impossible to keep up on my main i was putting all seven characters on one spot and even then i was not making it and it just made me say screw the post office it's not worth it on this account but now that it's been fixed i have that and i'm hoping to get back into these daily for you guys so with that i will be back later and i'll see you late in a bit take care